I'm Kat. Thanks for tuning in to Phil's Move IQ property channel. Today, we're talking about how to choose a location to help boost a property's value. Your home is never just your home. It's probably the biggest personal investment you'll ever make. And you want to be sure you'll see a return. Here's some of Phil's top tips. Firstly, try thinking like a developer. They have profit as their ultimate goal. You don't necessarily have the same priorities as a developer. They're a business after all. Though thinking like they do before you make the biggest investment of your life might ultimately pay dividends in the long run. Secondly, increase its square footage. If this is impossible, maybe you can add value by improving the internal layout, fixtures and fittings, or find an area you love but can't afford, then look at the surrounding postcodes. You might find a larger property there at a price you can afford. The area may not be desirable yet, but give it a few years. Third, where's the government spending money? Just think of the impact of the 2012 Olympic Games on house prices. All areas that hosted an event have seen a house price uplift since 2012 compared to the rest of the local area. Urban regeneration schemes not only give an area facelift, but they'll also encourage trade, travel and retail. Look at Manchester City Centre or Bradford City Park for examples of the positive impacts of urban regeneration projects. Fourthly, find out where transport links are being installed. Fifth, check out the local Ofsted reports, find out which schools are performing at their peak and invest in their neighbourhood. Nothing appeals more to parents with a young family than access to good schools. Six, Keep a watch out for changes in local trade. You know the area is on the up when the local convenience stores are being replaced with boutique gift shops and expensive looking cafes, bars and restaurants. Seven, spot signs of property investment. Get in your car and actually visit an area of interest. Keep an eye out for other investors getting in there early. Look for skips outside properties and scaffolding being erected. All signs properties are getting an overhaul and things are on the up. Eight, if you find a rundown property on a large plot, don't dismiss it. Think of the value you can add by increasing the property's footprint or by knocking it down and building something much nicer and larger. Look beyond what is currently there. You can find out everything you need to know with Phil Spencer's property report. It contains vital information on your prospective new home and the surrounding area. We've added a link below so you can access one easily. We really hope you've found this useful. As usual, please do give us a like and please let us know what you think in the comments below.